Ryan has has his Christmas party had his Christmas party here last year. Oh, really? No, yeah. So Ryan Seacrest had his he almost this exact same setup. We closed the restaurant down, tent here, photo booth, and uh, he loves the food here. He loves the food at Oscar's other place, Serviteca. So he asked us to, you know, hey, can we shut the restaurant down? I can throw a Christmas party. So it was the first time we did it. So when I brought it up to my partner, Oscar, for this thing, Oscar was like, oh, I don't know if we can shut, shut it down. I'm like, what are you talking about? Ryan Seacrest shut it down. You can't shut it down for my, my show? What the? So it's, pretty, it's, it's, it's funny. It's serendipitous. And what's your favorite dish here? My favorite dish, uh, so I get something. It's like my the usual. I can actually come in here and talk to my servers and say the usual. And they know that it's a quarter chicken and a uh, Cesar Chavez salad. It's our version of a Caesar salad, Caesar Chavez salad. And uh, our, our chicken is uh, smoked first and then rotisserie, and it's amazing. It's super juicy, super good. So I, I usually get that. It's kind of healthy. And if it's not that, it's the um, grilled oysters, which not a lot of people do around here. Most people do them raw. We do them raw as well, but grilled is better. And I also do the wings. We have the best wings. They're dry, smoked, then dry rubbed, and then um, you can put uh, either an orange bitter sauce on or a regular barbecue sauce. But they're amazing. So if anybody comes, they just ask for the John. They'll get the John. Ask for John, and they'll, yeah, ask for the John. Yeah, and they'll get the chicken and a Caesar Chavez salad. All right. Uh, season one of This Is Us. That scene where Rebecca walks in. She has the necklace on. She's in slow motion, and then in walks Miguel and jaws everywhere dropped not knowing that she wasn't with Jack and what happened with Jack. Are there any big moments like that in season two? There's, there's a big moment at the end of uh, episode one. I'm not going to tell you what it is, of course, but uh, there is a big moment like that at the end of episode one and a, and a, and a, a couple of more down, you know, it, within the season. But uh, people can look forward to a big, a big moment at the end of episode one. And we have, a lot, we have a lot of things to explore because of what we set up in season one and season two and uh it's so i can tell you right now that the the writing has been amazing and the and the and every every script is just uh i mean i i i start i get goosebumps i start to tear up a little bit yeah it's good and the fans you know they love jack so is that hard you know coming in as miguel sorry fans love Jack and so here we don't quite know the story of what really happened between Miguel and Rebecca will that all be shown in season two well Miguel loves Jack so it's not that hard um, you know we will see how Jack dies in season two we'll see how everybody reacts to it to include Miguel um, and you know for me I think it's as an actor the challenge to get to, to try to turn the audience to try to um, you know, work, work with the writers. How are we going to do it? And we've come, we've devised a really cool plan this year, which I really like, um, to turn the audience and, and, and bring them to Team Miguel, basically, is what hashtag Team Miguel. I've seen that on Twitter. I've seen that. Um, but uh, you know, I like I like the challenge. I think it's 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 great as an actor. It makes the job way more interesting. People uh, don't love Miguel uh, during season one, but. Hopefully season two um, and in season three. I like the long kind of game. I like the long game. It's like investing. Um, it's way better than the short game. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I'm looking forward to, to playing with the audience and seeing if we can turn them around. And tonight we're celebrating the music from the series. What is it about the music that makes the show what it is? So the music, to me, is so important because it... You know, it, it sets the tone in every scene, of course. Uh, it sets the mood. But at the same time, it, it's, it creates the authenticity. We're in the 70s. We're in the 80s. We're in the 90s. We're in present day. So we have the music in the background. And the, music is, the music is good if you, can't, if you don't know it's there. Um, but what it does do, even though you might not know it's there, you might not be listening to it, we know when we're sitting in a bar uh, in the 1970s, Whatever's playing in the background, it helps the audience like believe that this this scene is taking place in the '70s. So I think it's super important in that respect. And we picked some of the greatest songs from the '70s, '80s, and '90s, and present day to be on this soundtrack. And there, and there's music, so much more music that it's not even on the soundtrack that they could release a soundtrack every three months probably. That um, you know we'll have so much music to release as time goes by. It's going to be amazing. Very nice to meet you.